guys. Today we're going to be reviewing the Guitar Fetish pickups. These are the crunchy pat high output pickups with the quick connects. Um, as you can see here, it has this. If you didn't see my last video, it explains what it is. You just plug it in from your harness. Or you can actually just use this and put it on your existing pots that you have so you can just change your pickups out real quick. Um, I like this design. I like this design because it's quick and easy. Um, so yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and stick these in the guitar and see what they sound like. You'll see me go through the process of putting it in the guitar, the harness, and everything. So I'm gonna take you through the process of what I'm gonna be doing to this guitar. Um, another thing that I always hear is, can you take your strings off all at one time? Can you clip them off? Well, my recommendation before you go to clip them off, because I clip them off all the time, is just detune them. I don't like leaving pressure on my neck while I clip it. Um, it I don't think it will hurt it. Don't, it won't shock the neck or bend the neck. Because these guitars are made out of wood and they're meant to be played and they're not that fragile. If your guitar is that fragile, if your neck's that fragile, then I'd probably get rid of the guitar. Um, so yeah, I just loosen it up. And another reason why I don't leave tension on it because these strings can fly back and hit you in the face. And what I do is just set this aside for now, out of the way. Then you just start taking these off, put them in a safe place. My nice hillbilly guitar holder that I made. You guys are wondering how to get knobs off, you can take a shirt of some kind and just slip it over. And you can wrap it up like this and just wiggle it back and forth and it'll pop right off. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the pickups and everything off, take all these hardware off. It's self-explanatory. i got to get into the back panel here and up here. So that stuff's self-explanatory and uh, I'll cut back to it here in a minute. Got everything stripped out, all the knobs off. Went ahead and took the wiring harness out. I'll keep this in case I have to repair something. Um, got all the pickups out, all the good stuff. She's stripped and ready to put all the other stuff but back in. Usually if you use different pots, they might not fit, but these ones fit in here just fine. Um, it's the back side that you have to worry about. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in and then show you how to run the wiring. Another thing I noticed with this guitar, it's already been routed out bigger. So they must have been planned for us in the future and knew he's going to, uh, upgrade this stuff because usually they're real small reamed but this has been reamed out real big so hey comes out this side and you just hold it then you put the switch All in stuff's self-explanatory i got the switch screwed in you just run it through the cavities make sure there's no kinks get that straight as possible and you just run it through the back of the cavity where everything else is just reach underneath the guitar be able to feel it go ahead and plug it in this is where your switch goes and before you go ahead and put everything in go ahead and run your uh, all your pickup wires this would be this is your neck and the short one is your bridge you just run it through the cavity down in there like that where they came from And here's your two ground wires and then all that's left is to screw in your jack and we're ready to rock and we got to put the pickups in as you see I got everything in there where it needs to go some of these are facing backwards because that's just the way they got to go um, and here's your two ground wires all you do is slip this on here and do the same thing with the other side but you crimp this side then crimp that side and that's all you got to do the only thing you got left to do is plug your uh, bridge pickup in and your neck pickup and there's a little finish crack here but it's a Chinese guitar you'll have that but yeah you just plug it in put your rings on the new pickup and I'm gonna go ahead and put strings back on this guitar and then show you what it sounds like <laughs> Thank you. 
my overall review of the Guitar Fetish uh, push pull pods. Um, as you see, they work really, 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 really well. Um, you can't beat them for the price. I have a total of $90 in the pickups and all the hardware and the pods. Um, one thing I don't like is the tone pods are real loose. Like, I don't know if that's normal. I've never really had push pull pods before, but it doesn't affect anything. They're just real freely, no, no restriction whatsoever, but the tone or the volume, they have restriction. Um, they roll up and down real nice when it comes to the tone and the volume. These pickups are amazing. They put out some, you know, good output for like 20 some dollars. I think they're like $26 a piece. Um, the switch feels great. I recommend it. Um, it plays well. Um, there's nothing wrong with the guitar. These pickups make it sound like a higher end guitar, but I'm telling you, if you could feel this guitar and play this particular guitar, um, you know, you would, you would fall in love with it. Just, you know, just because it's a $180 guitar doesn't mean that it can't compare to anything else. Uh, but overall, I give it a 10 out of 10 because these are amazing. You can't beat them. They look good. Um, so, yeah. Leave your feedback in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.